In their heyday, African violets were one of the most popular houseplants in the world. Not only do they have interesting foliage, their beautiful blooms are a major draw card. The botanical name is Streptocarpus ionanthus, and African violets are part of the Gisneriad family. It's a funny sounding name, I know, but it's a name you definitely want to remember. Gisneriads are a fascinating, quirky, and diverse group of plants, and so many are collectible houseplants. Look at this trailing vine. It's a lipstick plant. The flowers, the tubular, and they pop out like little lipsticks. And this one here, it's called Columnia, or the goldfish plant. And when the flowers open, they look like little goldfish just floating in the air. It's got this beautiful variegated foliage too. The leaves are mottled pink. As far as African violets go, there's plenty of cultivars. Many are bred for flowers, but also foliage. Just look at this Streptocarpus pretty turtle. Its lace pattern leaves are striking. What's not to love? And whilst they may look fragile, you don't get to be one of the world's most popular plants if you're too fussy. I'm going to give you a few tips for keeping African violets in good nick. Now you can get a few clues about how to grow them by learning about where they come from. African violets are native to mountainous regions of tropical East Africa. With fleshy stems and fat leaves covered in a furry coat, they're adapted to humid conditions and changes in air temperature and they're also tolerant of wet and dry spells. They grow in rocks and crevices and in not much soil. Excess water just runs off the roots. And you can see the roots are quite delicate, tiny and quite fibrous too. Plants like African violets like oxygen around their roots, so they'd be swamped if you put them in a big pot with lots of soil. Make sure you stick to small pots. Also, what will help is providing well-draining conditions for the roots. There are some potting mixes specifically made for African violets. If you want to make your own mix, check out the Gardening Australia website. And just a little tap to settle the soil. If the leaves get dirty during repotting, or if they get dusty every now and then, use a paintbrush to brush them clean. The one thing you do here is they don't like getting their leaves wet. All plants get rained on in the wild, so what's this about? Well, in their natural habitat, they're adapted to warm rainwater that dries up very quickly. A splash of tap water now and then on the plant isn't going to kill your plant, but it can cause unsightly brown marks. What will kill your plant though, is if you get water in the center of the plant, it will cause it to rot. And that's where all the new leaves and flowers come from. You can lift the leaves and water from the top, but for plants like African violets, I reckon Bottom watering is the way to go. I keep mine inside a bigger decorative pot. I'm pouring water up to a level above the drainage holes of the plastic pot. Then I put the African violet in, leave it for 15 minutes while it soaks up the water. Don't forget to take it out and empty the excess water. In summer, do the bottom watering once a week or so, but there's no hard and fast rule a good idea is to always check the plant first. If the plant feels a bit light, give it a good drink. In winter, water a lot less. I probably water mine once every couple of weeks. Watering takes care of the roots down below. And to encourage flowers, use a fertilizer. For strong, healthy blooms, make sure you look for a fertilizer that's high in potassium. Ensure you read the label though. Many fertilizers differ in terms of how much and when to use them. It's not only fertilizer that encourages blooms, it's also light. It's a type of sun that's important here, not by a window and not in the baking hot afternoon sun. I found that morning sun works best, but you can also experiment. With a bit of attention, African violets will reward you with blooms for most of the year. They're a joy to be around, and once you have one, you want to check out more.